Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. Today we're going to be reviewing Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory by Jersey Jack Pinball. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. And also, please follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk, under Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that YouTube subscribe button. If you like Arcade, if you like virtual pinball, if you like mechanical pinball, we got a little bit of something for everyone on Arcade and Pinball Talk. That's our format. We love pinball in every format. So therefore, join the family. Click subscribe. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first on the table, beautiful. Artwork is absolutely stunning. LED lights, it's like candy. It's just like it catches your attention. Uh, cabinet artwork is phenomenal. They did a great job on this. Uh, but let's look at the table uh, mechanics at this point. Flipper gap is not too bad. Uh, you have an in lane to the right, exit lane. You also have two in lanes to the left, exit lane with a kick out to the left. Uh, there is a peg that was installed, obviously, that comes with the JJP machines, and let's just say that if the peg's in, it's a little easier. If it's out, it's a way harder. It balls out a lot more. There are four flippers on this machine, one that is top middle left, one that is top right. Uh, you have a lane going up that has a target. That is the Wonka bar, so you want to hit that, get your bars collected, one, two, three, four, five. Target past that to the right. You have a lane with pop bumpers going up around, which is an orbit, and it comes out to the right side of the table. You also have your multi-ball slash ball lock, which is under the everlasting gobstopper. So you click, you hit that little blue uh, target there, uh, the most secret machine, and the thing will spin. That's where you drop your ball. Lights lock up, one, two, light lock. That's how you get your multi-ball. You have your ramp uh, going up to the right of that. That comes out to a habit trail exiting to your left end lane. Cap the ball to the middle, which as you can see, one, two, three, four, question mark. Then secret kid, that's how you get there. You have uh, a ramp that goes up underneath the actual camera and that comes back out have a trail exits to the left end lane You have a ramp slash lane that goes up on the left side under walk of vision that exits to the left side And then you also have a lock to the right of that that is a small lane that also exits out above the right top flipper uh, You have a ramp coming around captive ball value. It says ramps advance comes out exits right in lane through a habit trail and then you have a target there so all in all, very nice. Very nice setup. It's got quite a bit of flow to it, lots of shots. Those pop bumpers that are at the front of that lane just make it a little bit harder to get all the way around. So there we go, getting all the way around that orbit. There's a ramp that exits on the habit trail to the left end lane. Cap the ball was just hit, so we're at number two. There's your magnet lock, which is uh, the Wonka bar. So now we're at Wonka bar three. I love the fact that there's four flippers on this. Uh, I'm a big, a big believer in at least three flippers. And uh, this one actually has the fourth flipper and it's actually very, very nice considering because you can get up those extra ramps and those lanes to the top right of the table. Uh, Playfield is set up phenomenally. I, I actually like the layout of this game a lot. You have the front of the Playfield uh, is open. You have tons of lanes, tons of ramps. Uh, it's a little tight to the top right, but it's doable off of your left flipper and your right flipper, so the shots aren't super hard. So leading into difficulty, is this a moderate or high difficulty table? Well, uh, let's just be real. Uh, without, without having that extra peg in there, I would say that this is a low difficulty, low high difficulty table. With the peg in, I would say it's a moderate difficulty. And I think most people will agree with me on that. Uh, as far as replayability of this machine, I mean, if you like Willy Wonka, you're going to like this machine. If you like the aesthetics of Willy Wonka, how beautiful the artwork is, that's a big draw to people that play pinball, you're going to like this machine. If you like actually a lot of good shots and the flow being pretty decent too with all the shots there's a lot stacked in this game and the flow is actually not hurt by all the shots so you're gonna like this game uh, i would say they did a very good job on this
That looks beautiful. The sound bites, the songs in the background. Uh, it's aesthetically pleasing, visually and auditorially. So your long-term play on this machine's there. So the next question is, I always like to ask this question because, you know, I mean, obviously pinball, you know, you find them on route, you also find them in homes. Uh, the question is, would you buy this for home use only? I would say yes. I mean, this is a collector item, I would say. I mean, the, the quality of what JJP has been putting out, I would say that, you know, with Wonka specifically, even pirates, right? There's a huge following for pirates. And a lot of people buy them for their homes. Willy Wonk is one of those machines that I think is a very high demand home use uh, only uh, pinball machine. But other than that, as far as the review goes, please look underneath the description of our YouTube uh, video. Click there, our review will be there for all of our metrics. Other than that, we appreciate you watching today. Thank you again for your time and until next time. Arcade and Pinball Talk, signing out.